Yo, this is Hitana Plays Pokemon X. Look where we are, people. We have finally arrived at the Pokemon League. Once you're ready, healed up. You will also want to check out your Pokemon. If you have some hold items you want them to hold for the battle, now's the time to give them that. Make sure you have bought a lot of potions and revives. Have some heals as well. So you can have them to use. You have enough for that. And you also want to give them some items for them to hold to increase their power. Will be very, very, very useful. This one of the King's Rock has a chance to flinch targets when you deal damage. We have Metal Cove, Power of Steel types. We have some other cool Pokemon moves you can use. Red Plate for Dark type moves. Uh, ice Plate for Ice moves, Charcoal for Power Up for Fire types, Metal Plate for Grass moves, Dragon Fang for boosting power of the Dragon moves, Damp Rock which increases duration of Rain Dance. I'll take Dragon Fang for, of course, for Tyrant Trump, so make sure that his Dragon Claw will hit even harder than it already does. Was a given held item for Talon Flame? Why not? Let's see, what will Talon Flame have in his? Pockets. You have a lot of items for sure. You should only got a lot more of those, so I'm not saying you have everything, but I got a lot of items throughout my time. The ground, Sooth Bell, Water Stone, but really work, of course, Shiny Stone, Deep Sea Tooth and Scale, Splash Plate, Miracle Seed, Metronome, which is a bit of a cool thing. Increases the power of your moves. But only if you use the same move over and over again. If you change moves, the power will be reset. I think I will use the charcoal here on Tile Flame to have its flame charge do more damage. All right, everyone holding an item now. You can check it up. So for my team here, I'm going to use the blast toys. With the blast tonight, we have uh, Jonas with the fairy egg, with the fairy egg, uh, lucky egg. We have the Delphox Amulet Coin, more money, Lucario Knight for Lucario, Charcoal, and Dragon Fang. So this is going to be the cool setup here. So we have a Water type, we have a Fairy type with electrical moves and bug moves, we have a Fire Psychic type, we have a Fighting and Steel type, even though I don't need to have any Steel moves, but I got Poison Jab at least for getting against Fairy types. I have a flying fi fire type, and I have my rock dragon type with also some ground moves. So I think they're pretty good. Also, have crunch on him as well if you need to do some dark damage against a psychic type. So, when you're ready, go inside this huge thing here, across this water pond, and enter the Pokemon. Now this Pokemon League is working the exact same thing as the Pokemon League does in generation number 5. Which means you get to choose who do you want to face in what order. So here we are. The door closed. And inside, here we are. You're the last of Satana, are you? Welcome at last to the Pokemon League. I am one of the Elite Four. People know me as the Fire Type Pokemon user Malva. Here in the Pokemon League, you'll encounter the four of us, the Elite Four, and now a champion. If you hope to meet the champion and challenge her here, you must first defeat the four of us. Do your best, because if you can't impress us with your real strength, you'll never get to battle her. But it should be a walk in the park for you, right? The hero who destroyed Big Bad Team Flair. <laughs> well, we'll try this. So, this is how it begins. We have four doors here, or entrances, you can say. There's a door, this one. You have a door here. You have a door here, and a door here. Then the big mid door in the middle here goes to the Pokemon League champion. And 
and once you enter the pocket league there's no turning back. So in this episode I'm gonna do two Elite Four members first, then I'll do the other ones after in the next episode. So first, Malva introduced us. So we're gonna battle Malva first actually. Malva is one in the upper right, so just go here and go fight. The Blazing Chamber. Go in here to have a little cool effect happening. Off we go. And we'll watch the chamber change form. Ooh. Cooler. Wow. That's pretty awesome. And with that, we go up here, and here she sits, waits for us. The first of four lead four members of the Kalos region, Malva. Welcome, challenger, to my blazing chamber. I am Malva, and I shall be your opponent today. So this is the first of the lead four members with the challenge gonna be Malva, lead four member of fire types. The second time ever that the fire types becomes a lead four. The first one was in generation four, generation six has Malva. Her first Pokemon will be Pyroar. Pyroar, of course, the cool looking lion type Pokemon is a fire and normal type. So you can also use a fighting type to take care of this one. This was a female, of course, because of the main it has. Remember, this is a pure fire. No, it's not a pure, not pure fire. It's a fire size normal type. So use Surf Waterfall is really good here. I would really suggest you to Mega Evolve as well because all of our Pokemon are the fire types. You might have well just use Fire Blastoids for them all if you can survive. And I will start with Waterfall. Let's evolve with the Mega Blastoise. Yeah! Get those cannons ready and let's go! I will get a first attack with Hyper Voice. Which will do good damage. Here comes the Waterfall. From the Mega Blastoise. Strikes! It's a one-hit KO on the Pyroar! Very good! Good start here against Pyroar, and we have three more to go. Yeah, the Leafor only has four Pokemon here for some reason. And next up will be Talonflame. So, Talonflame, I think it's better to use a, a water attack, like a special one. Here comes the Brave Bird from Talonflame. A powerful flying attack with recoil. It hits. Damage is good. Recoil will do some damage. Here comes the Surf from Mega Blastoise. That's enough for a KO. Very good. Halfway through already with Malva. And the next one is going to be Yazurnias is level 63. Now to learn Misty Terrain. Let's check it out. The user covers the ground until render one's feet with Mist for 5 turns. This protects Pokemon on the ground from status conditions. Do you want to learn it? No. Not worth a spot in my opinion. And also you can benefit the opponent as well if they do the smart way. Next up will be Torkoal from Generation 3. Let's go fight it against the Torkoal. Torkoal as well is a pure fire type. This one is actually a pure fire type. Let's go with Surf. Onto the Torkoal. You will not like that, you're gonna go down in a single hit. That means we only have one more Pokemon to fight. With Malva here. Let's see what we're gonna get. Malva sends in Chandler. Oh boy, Chandler is a fire and ghost. And Chandler has one of the highest special attacks in the game, even today. Even today. But it is a glass cannon though. So if you do manage to hit Chandler with an attack, it should probably go down. But Chandler is quick and hits like a truck. But we are faster though. This means Chandler should get KO'd in the waterfall. It strikes. It goes down. It's just too weak defensively to survive an attack. And with that, Blastoise has defeated Malva of the Elite Four. What news? So a new challenge has defeated Malva of the Elite Four. Yeah, I know where we've seen Malva from before, right? She was in news anchors. Fantastic! Utterly fantastic! 
I report to all the world the news of you and your Pokemon League dominating the Pokemon League. I am a Holocaust star after all. <laughs> I'm such a busy woman. Three more members of Elite Force stand between you and the champion. That elevator there to return to the main hall if you're ready for them. Oh, we are for sure. That was an interesting battle, but we did win. I take this elevator now to return to the main floor. Here we are. Now we can see that Malvo's room has been closed. We cannot enter it again. We just see this burning here. It's burning here and it's burning there. So we have three more to face. And we must defeat all three of them to get the champion. If we do lose against one of them, we have to defeat Malva and the others again. It really is important that you do win four consecutive times in order for the Pokemon League champion to arise. <coughs> okay, so that was a good start, but the next one we're gonna have a little more toughness for it. So I need to do a little change to my party. Xerneas will be going in. And then we'll have Blastoise out. Reason you'll see soon. So, we have North West, South West, and South East. I'll be going for the South East one this time. Here we have the Flood Chamber. You know what Flood means? Yeah, water. This is a new one. The first time in history that a water type has been part of the Elite Four. This has never happened before, but the one we're gonna face now is the first one. So here we go with the Kalos Pokemon Elite Four number two, the Flood Chamber. What does it mean? Tilt around. Spend faster, 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 and in comes the water. Oh boy. Pretty cool though. I like this, the graphical effects. And now we can challenge Elite Four member number two. When you're ready, step up and get ready to fight. No, I simply can't say. You there, young man. I have a question I must pose to you. Do you think Pokemon battling can be worthy of being called an art? Um, yeah. Mm, indeed. You see, cooking is a type of art that disappears as soon as it is completed. Pokemon battles are the same. Even memories of sweet victories soon fade after the battle ends. To devote yourself entirely to such a life made up of fleeting experience, that is truly artful. And here we go, the second Elite Four member, and we're gonna fight off against Seabold, the first ever Elite Four member of the Water type, which is pretty cool. And Seabold will be using Clovitzer. So Clovitzer is the first opponent here. Clovitzer is a pure Water type Pokemon, the only pure Water type of this team. The reason, of course, why I'm using Xerneas because Xerneas knows a Thunderbolt. Of course, you also have Horn Leech if you manage to not take it away from him. You can also keep that, but I think Thunderbolt is more useful in this one. So, with the Clovitzer here, we're going to use Thunderbolt. Here we go. Charging up and strike. Thunderbolt lands over half the damage. Pretty good. Here comes the Water Pulse from Clovitzer onto Xerneas. Damage is pretty good. And Xerneas is also confused. That's unfortunate for us. We're gonna try now with another one. Confusion text. Will I hit myself or will we strike? We will strike! Thunderbolt hits again on Clovitzer. And that's gonna be enough to KO a Clovitzer. One down, three more to go. Good start. Our next opponent, as Blastoise is level 64, will be Gyarados. Oh boy. This one I'm actually going to do a luck based try. Because Gyarados is a water and flying, which means one Thunderbolt will be enough to KO the Gyarados, but will the confusion be in my way? Let's give it a go. Let's try it out. Let's test our luck with Thunderbolt. There we go. Confusion. It will strike me, unfortunately. Gyarados with Dragon's Dance, which means it's going to increase his stats for his turn. Up on attack and speed. Another Thunderbolt. 
Gyarados is faster this time, we'll use Dragon Dance again! Second Dragon Dance from Gyarados. Let's see what this will lead us. Confusion Snap, that means Thunderbolt comes! It lands! And it's a wanted KO? No! Gyarados survives! Oh my god, so close! So damn close! Well, let's do one more Thunderbolt. Yeah. Lethal members do have full restores, two of them each actually, except the champion has three. So if you do not manage to knock them in a single hit, try again. Oh, he still survives, but this time he's paralyzed. Great, now it's my turn to put on some status effects. See, we'll another full restore on uh, Gyarados, that means the paralysis is gone. He's back to full health. Here comes another Thunderbolt, he strikes. But this time is a critical hit! You will not survive this one, Gyarados! Good thing for us, we take this victory for ourselves. Stealth Fox is level 66. Really looking good. Next up is Barbarackle. Barbarackle. This one is a cool new Pokemon, a much more tougher one. For this one I'm gonna change my change it a bit again. I'm gonna get in Lucario. This is because Barbarackle is a dual type rock and water. Here it is. Pretty nasty looking one. There's a dual type rock and water. So we're gonna use something that's more powerful. Therefore I'm gonna go with Aura Sphere. Charge up and land. Aura Sphere lands on Barbara He does survive though! Here comes a cross chop! Wow, the damage is so good! Oh, but I survived with one health! With a single health, I survived the cross chop. Wow! So close! One health! That is lucky. Because the Aura Sphere will land on Barbaracle. And that will KO it. Wow! So close! But luckily it was me who had the luck this time. With one Pokemon short. As Tarantrum is level 67. The last Pokemon is Starmie. And with that, I'm gonna go back to Xerneas again. Because I can hit it with a Thunderbolt. I can also hit it with a physical move. Because Starmie is dual type water and psychic. Water psychic versus fairy type. And I have two moves I can do super effective damage with Mega Horn and Thunderbolt. Best to do here is Mega Horn because Xerneas has higher attack power than special attack. Plus, Mega Horn has higher power than Thunderbolt. Let's try. Starting with Surf on Xerneas. That was just pretty good. Mega Horn will land. Will it be enough though? It will be. That's enough. The Starmie goes down. And that means we have beaten the Elite Four member number two. As Xerneas was a huge lot of stats, thus level 64, and Seabolt has been defeated. I shall store my memory of you and your Pokemon forever away within my heart. Devote yourself entirely, so even that which will fade and disappear is ingrained forever upon your heart and mind. That is the only fate for any human. It's the duty of both trainers and chefs to find the good in any raw materials they have to work with. There lies the answer to reaching even higher. Battle the last two of us and find out for yourself. Oh, we will for sure. What a more tenseful battle though, the first ever Elite Four trainer of the water type, which was pretty cool. You see that his store is closed as well. That means we only have two more to go. That's going to be it for this episode, guys. Next episode, we're going to battle the last two Elite Four members. And then, the episode after, we're going to battle the Pokemon League Champion. Oh boy, this is going to be epic. Like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Twitch, and Facebook. And that's going to be it for now, so see you guys next time. As my journey in Pokemon X continues.